Hi, welcome to this segment of Credit Matters TV. I'm Gabriela Langarica from Financial Services Ratings in Latin America. Continued lackluster global economic trends had led to a tightening in credit conditions and capital markets. In Mexico, higher funding and issuance costs, coupled with currency depreciation, could hurt profitability metrics, especially for the country's non-bank financial institutions. Considering the current climate, these firms might be forced to leverage their competitive advantages, implement expensive refinancing strategies, or use private funds to bluster their funding structures. Most Mexico-based financial institutions' upcoming maturities are investment-grade bonds issued by banks, and we believe these entities are well-positioned to refinance them as investors are likely to continue looking for these bonds even under tougher market conditions. On the other hand, considering that debt market placements represent a cornerstone of these non-bank financial institutions' funding structure, tightening debt capital markets could harm these firms by increasing refinancing risk, which would pressure liquidity over the next two years. Appetite for speculative grading instruments will depend on which part of the cycle investors are in. Some institutional investors might sit tight waiting for non-traditional investment opportunities that could generate more attractive returns. Others will search for alternative structure investments or high yield bonds. But even when investor appetites opens a window of opportunity for non-bank financial institutions, slow economic growth will still tighten funding conditions for these issuers, thus squeezing their internal margins and prompting them to search for alternative funding sources, such as bank credit facilities. But even under sluggish economic conditions, some investors are currently standing in a cash skin position and willing to fuel these financial institution origination engines. Development banks, friends and family funds, or private equity funds will play a crucial role in providing financial flexibility to MBFIs, although not without a price that could compensate their opportunity cost. Thank you for watching this segment of Credit Matters TV. You can find a complete article on our website.